Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making tuna salad. I know it sounds so simple, but with my easy tips, you're going to boost up that flavor and have the best tuna salad sandwich ever. Let's get started. First, let's talk tuna. So you can use canned tuna or you can use it in these little pouches. Um, I actually prefer using a, an albacore tuna packed in water in a can, but this is what I had today. And you're going to use about two five ounce cans or four of these pouches. You're going to break up all that tuna into as small pieces as you can. So you wanna flake it all with your fork until it's no longer in like big chunks. And kids love this one too. It packs great in the lunchbox. If your kids are going back to school soon, you can pack this for their lunch. We like it in lattice wraps, on a roll. It's just fabulous in anything. One of my favorite ways to eat this tuna salad is in an avocado half. And then drizzle with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and you're good to go. Nice low carb lunch. Okay, now that we have the tuna all mixed up and ready to go, we're gonna chop up our vegetables to go into our tuna salad. And I like to start with these carrots. And I like the matchstick cut carrots because most of the work is already done for you. And since you want all of your vegetables finely minced, you want them to be in really teeny tiny pieces, um, it's good to start with a grated carrot. So if you can't find the matchstick carrots, you can grate the carrots on a box grater yourself and then just run your knife through and chop them up a little bit more. And again, just like the tuna, you don't want big chunks of anything in there. So you don't want big chunks of onion or carrot or celery. And just when you think you're done, run your knife through one more time. Then it'll mix really well in with your tuna. We're just gonna put that into the bowl. Next, we're gonna do the celery and you're gonna do the same thing we did with the carrots. You want it finely chopped. To cut off that white end and then these ends. And we're gonna slice it in half lengthwise. And then you're gonna lay it flat and slice it in half again. And then we're gonna cut this other piece. So you have your celery stalk cut in two quarters. And then I'm going to dice them up. So same thing as the carrots, we're gonna cut them up and then run your knife through one more time just so they're tiny. No more large chunks of celery. We're gonna put that into the bowl next. And you only need about a quarter cup of the celery. So I made a little extra. Just put that in there. Everybody likes a little extra crunch. Now we're gonna use some red onion. And this, you also wanna do finely chopped. You also don't wanna to use too much because the red onion can overpower the salad. So we just want a little bit. So even though I have a tiny little onion here, I'm probably only gonna use about a quarter of it. When I first made this recipe, I had a little chopping tool that finally chopped all the vegetables, so it took half the time, a quarter of the time, but we really love this tuna salad this way, so now I have to mince everything by hand because I melted the chopping tool in the dishwasher. And I can't find another one, so now we do it all by hand, which is totally fine. I modeled this recipe after one that I found at Whole Foods, it was in their deli section and I loved it so much. It was their yellow tail tuna salad and then they stopped making it. So I had to make it on my own. And I took the last label that I had and looked at all the ingredients and made the recipe from the ingredient list that was on the container. Now we're gonna take some parsley, some fresh parsley, and you're just gonna mince that up as well. 
And if you don't like celery or you don't like carrots, you can definitely leave them out. Sometimes I like to throw capers. I like the briny saltiness of a caper. If you're gonna do the capers, I would do about a teaspoon of finely minced and then pull back a little bit on your salt if you're gonna add some salt to it. Next, we're gonna add some lemon and I like to use the zest and the juice of the lemon. So I'm gonna roll it out just to make it a little bit easier to juice. See, it's already coming out. And then we're gonna zest it and the lemon zest adds like such a great flavor to the tuna. I mean, lemon goes great on fish, so it just made sense to put some lemon into the tuna salad. And squeeze it out and catch those seeds. Now we're gonna add the mayonnaise and it's about four tablespoons of mayonnaise. And again, if you don't want a lot of mayonnaise, you can definitely pull back. If you want more, if you like a really creamy tuna salad, you can add more. I don't like a lot of mayonnaise in my tuna salad. And this is probably the most colorful tuna salad you'll ever make. And just make sure you're like breaking up all the leftover pieces of tuna if you find any and make sure that it's all incorporated. And there you go, there's your tuna salad. Okay, so now my tuna salad sandwich is done. I have a little lettuce and a fresh summer tomato and I'm going in for a bite. It is so good. Just vibrant and fresh from all those fresh veggies with a little hint of lemon and that brininess from the tuna. It, this is the perfect tuna salad sandwich. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe. And for more easy recipes, be sure to check out thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.